guys. We're going to be demonstrating 40 power pong robot drills. Some of them you're going to be demonstrating and I'm going to be talking about. And others you're going to be demonstrating and I'm going to be talking about. Check it out. Drill number one is forehand warm up. Hit over the top of the ball while leaning forward. Drill number two is backhand warm up. Make sure to lean forward and do it with a smile. Drill number three is one of the most basic footwork drills. It's one ball to the forehand and one ball to the backhand. Hey guys, check out drill number four. It's one ball to the forehand and one ball to the middle. Thanks for watching drill number four. Challenge yourself by setting the timer for three minutes and when you're done, mirror it so you can do the same drill with backhand. Drill number five gives two balls to the backhand and then one ball to the forehand. This drill is called Falkenberg. It's one backhand, one forehand from the backhand side, and then one forehand from the forehand side. Drill number six is two toss and balls to the backhand and two toss and balls to the forehand. Here's a challenge. Try to hit the first one cross and the second one down the line. Hey coach, what's the next jazzy drill? Backhand, middle, backhand, forehand, your favorite drill. Check it out. Drill number eight gives you a ridiculously heavy toss and ball to the backhand. Make sure you get an early timing on the ball and pressure the ball down. Drill number nine gives very spinny balls. One to the backhand, one to the middle, and then one to the forehand. Make sure you take those small steps, hit the ball on the rise, and apply a gentle downward pressure right on the top of the ball. This simulates a very spinny top spin loop coming at you. Drill number 10 is random tossing balls anywhere. This drill helped me a lot in my game because it taught me how to stay neutral and to increase my reaction speed. Just make sure not to do it too fast because then the technique will be sloppy. Start out slow and then you can increase the speed slowly. Drill number 10 is one of the best drills on the robot. It looks easy, but it's quite challenging. It gives you topspin balls randomly to any location on the table. I highly recommend that you do this drill every single day to improve your ability to stay neutral and to adjust to all those surprises. Drill number 11 isolates one deep backspin ball to your backhand. Make sure you move in position and generate spin. Drill number 12 gives a deep backspin ball, deep to the forehand. We're just isolating this shot and practicing it again and again. This is one that you should add to your daily routine just to be able to reinforce the basic forehand loop against backspin. Drill number 13 is one backswing ball to the backhand, one backswing ball to the middle, and one backswing ball to the forehand. Make sure to get in position for every ball and spin the ball. You can also mix up backhand and forehand from the middle ball. Drill number 14 is one of the best drills on the robot. It gives deep backspin balls anywhere. 
Notice how Sarah moves her feet quickly into position, gets down low, uses her legs, and spins that ball up and over the net. This is drill number 14. Drill number 15 is a lot more challenging than it looks. It gives an extremely heavy, deep backspin ball, deep to the forehand, kind of simulating like playing a chopper. Notice how Sarah gets down low, lets the ball drop a little bit, really opens her angle up, is able to use her legs, and just generates a lot of spin to lift that ball up and over the net. This is drill number 15 with an extremely heavy backspin ball. This drill is extremely challenging. I'm ready. All right, it's gonna give you really heavy, deep backspin balls anywhere, kind of simulating a chopper, but it's about twice as much backspin as you imagine. Check it out. Drill number 17 is quite interesting. All the balls are backspin, but it's giving different degrees. The first one it gives is a light backspin ball. The next one is a heavy backspin ball. I feel like this is a critical aspect for robot training, is not only to be able to handle different types of spins, but also different degrees of spin. I'd recommend doing this one for your forehand loop. Just click the mirror button and then do the same thing for backhand loop. Drill number 18 gives a no spin ball deep to the forehand. This is an interesting feature about the Power Pong robot. Not only can it give different degrees of spin, but it can also produce a tricky no spin ball. This one seems easy, but it's actually a challenging drill. Because the ball's no spin, you as the player have to do a good job ramping up the spin. This is great practice for playing against a pips out or an anti player. Drill number 19 gives you a smash to the backhand. This drill is a super cool drill for super cool people. Drill number 20 gives you a no spin smash, one to the forehand and one to the backhand. It's kind of simulating like a short pips smasher, just blasted the ball at you. Keep your angle relatively open, let the ball rise, and then absorb the energy as you hit forward. Drill number 21 gives random smashes anywhere. Make sure you get in position and open your angle. Drill number 22 gives you a top swim lob to forehand. Make sure you get in position and put your back into it. Drill number 23 gives a toss and lob to forehand and a toss and lob to backhand. Make sure to get into position for every ball and meet the ball at the top of the bounce.
Drill number 24 is a backswing lob to backhand. Make sure you get back in your ready position every time and move into position and hit it at the top of the bounce. Hey y'all, what about a serve return drill? Coming right up. Short backspin serve, short to the backhand. You can either push short, push long, or flip. Drill number 26 is backspin lobs random. Make sure to get into position for every ball and spin the ball as much as you can so that you can overcome the backspin. Drill number 27 gives a side spin serve, curving off the backhand side. Notice how Sarah gets in good position and generates a lot of top spin straight over the top of the ball. Drill number 28 gives an extremely heavy side spin serve to the backhand side of the table. This is simulating somebody serving with their backhand or a hook serve or a reverse pendulum serve. Many people have trouble looping deep no spin serves. That's what this drill is all about. Drill 29 gives a deep no spin serve. Notice how Sarah gets in position. She waits on the ball slightly and then focuses on generating her own top spin. That's really the key here is being able to generate your own spin. Even the ball even though the ball has no spin, you still have to be able to generate spin regardless if you chop it or loop it. Drill number 30 is an excellent three ball drill. It gives a no spin serve short to the backhand and then a quick top spin to the forehand and a quick top spin to the middle. Three balls and then a short rest and then three balls and a short rest. Drill number 31 is an exciting four ball sequence. It gives a short no spin serve to the forehand, two deep top spin balls to the backhand, and then a mini lob right to the middle of the table. Four balls and then a short break, four balls and then a short break. Try keeping the score against the robot. Every time you get four in a row, you get a point. Every time you miss one of those four, the robot gets a point. I love this speed sequence. Drill number 32 is a short, light backspin serve to the forehand, followed by a quick topspin ball directly to the forehand. In this drill, we're just isolating those two shots. Flip, and then follow up with a loop. This is a critical aspect of every game, is that not that the flip is gonna win the point, but the flip is more of a setup shot. Set the point up with a quick flip, and then follow it up with a quick loop. This is one of my favorite two ball sequences on the Power Pong Robot. Drill number 33 gives a backspin serve to the backhand, followed by three topspin balls. One to the forehand, one to the middle, and one to the backhand.
Drill number 34 gives a very curvy side spin serve to the backhand, followed by two quick top spin balls to the forehand, and then a slow ball to the middle. Make sure that after you flip or loop the serve, you get ready for those next ones. Loop those in, and then step in to finish that slow ball. Drill number 35 is a five ball sequence. It gives a side spin serve curving slightly to the forehand, followed by three top spin balls to the backhand, and then a top spin ball to the forehand. Drill number 36 is a great variation drill. It gives a normal top spin ball to the forehand, followed by a tricky no spin smash. This is drill number 36, and it's one of the best variation drills on the Power Pong robot. Drill number 37 is a great drill for simulating playing somebody with short pips. The first ball is just a normal inverted topspin ball, followed by a very fast, flat no spin ball. So it gives you one normal topspin and then one very flat one. Make sure on that second ball, you really open up that angle so that you don't bury it in the net. First one, have a normal angle, and then that second one, make sure you open that angle up. Drill number 38 really gives you a great variety of five different types of balls. Starts off with a short backspin serve, make sure you push that one. Then it gives you a deep backspin ball, a deep topspin ball, a lob, and then a smash. So you get to work on all five things, all combined into one sequence. This is one of my favorite drills on the Power Pong Robot. Drill number 39 is a tricky one. It gives you a backspin serve to the backhand. Go ahead and step forward and attack that serve. It gives you a lob to the middle, a counter smash to the forehand, and then a short lob to the backhand. Drill number 40 is a great four ball sequence. It gives a short serve, followed by a lob to the middle, a smash to the backhand, and then a lob to the forehand. This is a great drill to combine both offense and defense. Make sure you keep score against the Power Pong robot. Every time you make all four on, you get a point. If you miss any of the four, the Power Pong robot gets a point. Thanks for watching. <laughs>